Hello everyone and welcome. In this video, I'll show you how you can install and get started with Jupyter Notebooks on Mac. If you are on Windows, you can check out my video on installing Jupyter Notebooks in Windows from the description. So let's get started with a very brief introduction on Jupyter Notebooks. Jupyter Notebook is an open source web application that allows you to create and share documents. These documents or notebooks can contain live code, equations, visualizations, and even narrative text. Jupyter Notebooks are today widely used in data cleaning and transformation, numerical simulation, statistical modeling, data visualization, machine learning, and much more. These have become an incredibly powerful tool for interactively developing and presenting data science projects. Productionizing of any complex use case most definitely starts from a POC developed on Jupyter Notebooks. Okay, since now we do have some idea about what Jupyter Notebooks are, let's quickly look at how to get started and install it on Mac. While Jupyter supports writing and executing code in many programming languages, Python is a prerequisite for installing Jupyter Notebooks. Using Anaconda is the widely recommended way to install Python and Jupyter. Anaconda conveniently installs Python, the Jupyter Notebook, and other commonly used packages for scientific computing and data science. To install Anaconda, open your browser and search for Anaconda. Open up the first result that comes up from www.anaconda.com. Scroll down and click on the download button. It will trigger a download and you'll need to download about 600 to 650 MBs. Once the download is complete, click on the downloaded file and it will open up the Anaconda installer. It might take some time, so just be patient. Once you see the installer, just follow along the instructions to complete the installation. It would take a couple of minutes to complete the installation. Once the installation is complete, click on finish. With this, we have completed the installation. To open up the Jupyter Notebook, open up a terminal. Once the terminal is open, navigate to the directory where you want to create your notebook or have an already existing one and just run the command Jupyter Notebook. This will print some information about the notebook server in your terminal, including the URL of the web application. Also, a browser window should immediately pop up where you can see the notebook dashboard, which will show a list of the notebooks, files, and subdirectories in the directory where the notebook server was started. Since we don't have any files here, it is empty for us. To create a new notebook, Click on the new button and then from the drop down menu, select Python 3. That's all you need to create your first Jupyter Notebook. Your first Jupyter Notebook will open in a new tab. If you are interested in learning more about Jupyter Notebooks and how to use them, check out my video on introduction to Jupyter Notebooks. You can check out the description for the link where I have also linked my complete tutorial on getting started with Python for beginners. Alright, so coming back, let's just talk about a Couple of more things you should know while working with Jupyter Notebooks. If you switch back to the dashboard tab, you'll see a new file is created with the name of your notebook with .ipynb extension. All Jupyter Notebooks are identifiable by the notebook icon next to their name. As you can see, you can identify all the notebooks which are currently running. Notebooks currently running will have a green icon while non-running ones will be grey. You can open multiple notebooks simultaneously and each notebook will open in a new tab. Now, if you're trying to close a notebook, closing the tab doesn't automatically shut down the notebook. You need to explicitly shut down the notebook. To do this, navigate back to the dashboard. Then select the running notebook and you'll be able to see an option to shut them down. Also, to stop the server and shut down the kernel from the terminal, hit Ctrl C twice. This should close up the local notebook server. So with this, we have completed our discussion on installing and getting started with Jupyter Notebooks on Mac. If you're interested in exploring more about Jupyter Notebooks, do check out the description for the link to my next video. You can also check out my videos on getting started with Python for beginners where we use Jupyter Notebooks exclusively. Alright, so I hope you found this video useful. Please do like and subscribe and drop a comment on how you like the video. Thank you.